How strong are six paths of pain? We will be taking a look at how strong are six paths of pain. The six paths of pain are Nagato's puppets, but he has all six path techniques spread among them, so they are not really the same strength as him. We will try to find just how powerful pain is with all six paths working together. So, let's get started. 1. Ninjutsu. Nagato has each of the six paths techniques of the Rinnegan spread out among the different pain bodies, Deva path for Shinra and Chibaku Tensei, Preta path for Chakra and Ninjutsu absorption, Naraka path for interrogation and restoration, Azura path to create weapons for battle, Animal path to summon different kinds of animals, Human path for soul extraction. Each of these pain bodies is capable of fully utilizing the path assigned to them. 2. Jinjutsu the six paths of pain each have Rinnegan eyes a superior dojitsu to most in the series. For example, Sasuke was able to broke out of Itachi's Tsukuyami because of his Sharingan, Itachi also talked about how only a Mangekyo Sharingan can avoid Mangekyo Sharingan Jinjutsu. From these I will say to a certain extent, Rinnegan is immune to visual Jinjutsu and could also depend on the wielder. The pain paths are different bodies anyway and putting one under Jinjutsu doesn't affect the others. 3. Taijutsu the six paths of pain have what we call shared vision which allows them to see the movements of their foe. For example, even if you attack one of the pains from blindside, so long as another pain body is seeing you, the pain you're attacking is automatically seeing what you're doing as well and will react accordingly. Even sage mode Naruto with his incredible taijutsu had to disrupt their shared vision to take them out or use an attack they couldn't see frog kumite. This tells us that unless one is too fast for the pains to react or disrupt their shared vision, they cannot be beaten in taijutsu. 4. Speed Each of the six paths of pain are quite fast, but the one whose speed was truly shown was Deva Path. Deva Path showed incredible speed and reactions enough to keep up with the immense speed of Naruto's six tails QB mode. This version of Naruto was so fast that he at times blitzed and overwhelmed Deva Path, but Deva Path could still keep pace and react to many of its attempted blitz. 5. Strength Majority of the pain bodies when they first invaded Kanoha showed some really good strength feats. Most of them were capable of lifting Shinobi by their using a single hand which is impressive. The only time they got overwhelmed physically were against the sages, Jiraiya and Naruto, and against Naruto's Kyuubi forms they could pretty much match and overpower many shinobi physically. 6. Intelligence The six paths of pain are all dead bodies so their intelligence totally depends on the intelligence of the one who controls them. Nagato controls them and he is quite intelligent, possessing a lot of knowledge. He can always impart this knowledge to the pains. 7. Defense Nagato granted the Deva Path ability to Tendo. This gives Tendo the ability to execute Shinra Tensei capable of repelling all attacks away. Its power depends on the amount of chakra he puts in it. It is immensely powerful and comparable to the absolute defenses in the series, capable of destroying the entirety of the Hidden Leaf Village. In order to overcome it, a greater force must be applied and we don't have too many things or people who can provide such. Predapath also acts as a form of defense since it absorbs whatever attack that comes its way. 8. Summoning Through the animal path, Pain is able to summon a variety of creatures for battle ranging from giant multi-headed dogs which are immortal and continuously multiply themselves when hurt, to giant rhinos, birds, salamanders, and other kinds of creatures. Some of the summons for example the giant multi-headed dogs are able to give even the most powerful of boss summons a hard time in battle. 9. Chakra slash Stamina the amount of chakra pain has, depends on the amount Nagato feeds them. Nagato is a chakra monster and it would take a very long time for him to run out of chakra, this means he can keep the pain bodies going in battle. As dead bodies they cannot also run out of stamina unless Nagato himself tires out. So the chakra and stamina of pain totally depends on Nagato and since Nagato is a monster in both areas, pain benefits from it, we can see the balance that pain has in all areas proving that they will be trouble for majority of characters in the series. Let's continue to determine how strong he is. What tier are six paths of pain? When all six paths of pain are working together, they are a force to reckon with. Jiraiya with sage mode only managed to defeat three pains without intel. Naruto with Intel managed to defeat five pains using Sage Mode but was unable to defeat Deva Path. The six and eight-tailed QB versions were necessary to weaken Deva Path. 
both Sage Mode Naruto and Jiraiya were high Kage level, but Pain was still too much. This tells us that Pain is at least a tier higher. I will not say Pain is in the same tier as Nagato when healthy, but they should be close so, high Kage plus for the six paths of Pain. Whom he beats and who beats him. While I think the six paths of Pain together are in the high Kage plus tier i.e. just below the top tier it really depends when it comes to battle. Because for me without knowledge even those in the same tier, KCM Naruto, Kabuto, Edo Itachi, 3rd Rakage and the rest in the same tier would not be able to handle Pain. So without knowledge for the opponent I see Pain beating everyone in this same tier but with knowledge I see most in the same tier especially, Sage Mode Kabuto, MS Abito, 3rd Rakage, Killer B pulling a win. Under general circumstances I can only see MS Abito and the top tiers upwards being truly certain of winning against Pain.